Okay then, so after two fast and easy wins against uh, somewhat weaker opponents, this time I'm handed a serious player. Caveman Crossing, rated 822. Uh, cheeky fellow. Okay, so headline containment. Let's get greedy. And hmm. Okay, can't be happy about that. And let's see, going for a list domination. Yeah, that he does. <coughs> okay. Let's take care of things in uh, Middle East and Asia first. Can't go to France, uh, just like that, since Suez and I'm gone from the region. Play under assumption that my opponent has Millis scoring. Seems reasonable enough. I will hold Arab Israeli war and not hold until the next turn, but I'll hold it for a while uh, in case of blockade, since after containment it's. Hmm, nuisance. Okay. Let's give the Europe a try then. Okay, no reason to be swift with Romanian abdication as well. Since that's just free influence for this colonization. Okay, a coup were really Mm -hmm. Oh, that's that's very bad, actually. Suez crisis now, and I'm erased from the region. Might be forced to break. Iraq. Okay. Well, that's more like it. <clears throat> hmm. Gotta watch out for time. So I'm assuming I'll just dump Europe now. 
hopefully for the full price. Okay. That's four. Ah. Let's see. Since there's nothing I can really do about Middle East, I have to focus on Asia right now. Although that depends on when will his coup be. I expect he will coup, given that he lacks three mil, uh, mil ops. Since I was wrong about my Middle East hypothesis. No matter, as long as I don't get it in turn two, it's well good enough, I guess. Okay, Pakistan. Yes, it is, and I have to coup back. Okay then, blows exchanged, and what do we have here? Hmm. Okay, Vietnam is still unaccounted for. So is Dickel, so is Distal. I think I'll just play Asia scoring right now. Duck and Cover is a reasonable alternative, naturally. Hmm, that's kind of risky. I mean, I might, in case of a Vietnam Revolt headline, I might end up dominated here. Besides, Pakistan is a natural coup target at DEFCON 4. Can't be helped. Okay then, blows exchanged. Still kind of surprising that he decided to headline Middle East. Okay. What a Perfectly coupable target. Is NATO still around? Okay. Let's try a high card to do the coup. Get the best of odds of removing him from the region. Plus, well, if he happens to have NATO. Even better. Okay, that was disturbing. One blockade deterrent. Okay. I'll risk a lower card. But now he's in position to coup Malaysia. Also not particularly wonderful. If he rolls high, well, 
<clears throat> okay. No point in uh, guessing and drawing hypothesis. Let's just see what happens. The things I need to be wary of are obviously the two D cards. Uh, headline Middle East assumes, well, suggests that he just might have one or both of these cards and just wanted to get Middle East scoring out of the way. Hmm. That's that's very interesting. So my options here are I could coup Thailand with a decent ops uh, chance of success or I can take Thailand provoke a coup or I can coup Angola <coughs> forfeiting Thailand Not a fan. Hmm. Coups are a bit ineffective. So I'll just take Thailand, see what happens. I assume he'll cool, probably with the China card. Oh, you'd it's not right to take Angola and Zaire. bit expensive. I don't like the idea of losing Laos Cambodia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I effectively traded Angola Tahir oh, and the China card. Or Thailand and its region. Okay, blockade still unaccounted for, so hopefully I will be able to play it Truman Doctrine now. Thus, holding Arab Israeli war. Also useful to just suffer it once in the early war. Is he being clever? Somewhat, yeah. Okay, what about the French cards? The Gaul Suez, no. Still unaccounted for. Always a problem. I might need to spend one op in France just to make sure I don't lose it to Mr. De Gaulle. Mm -hmm. Okay, Asia. Yes, well, unfortunate. I have my doubts about the <coughs> how how reasonable it is to take Zaire because Angola is very overprotected right now. Perhaps it would be best just to leave it like this for a while. I'll just create a threat. Get something going here. Really? Okay, I really could have lived without this particular card. Can't complain about the purge though. Okay, I need to remember, he has blockade. So, so one of these has to stay. I assume that it will be slightly problematic for him 
to get Angola under purge. He has destinization though. Oh no, he played. No, he played Dickel, right. So he does have destinization. And let's see. Given that I hold the China card, I can take one of the Koreas from him. Well, North Korea obviously, since Korean War is still in the cards. Mm -hmm. Going for... Really? That's A. Surprising. B annoying as hell. Still, probably should be glad that he didn't take desire from me. Okay, France, desire, Colombia, Panama, I guess. Uh, I need to stay in this region. Too risky not to. Del goes to space, since it's not really useful anymore. That will hurt a lot. Okay, he takes his time, which probably means destalinization. Obviously. Okay. Right. No, get out. I'm getting out of this one. Let's at least make Cambridge five free, so I can use it to take India and protect Asia a little better. Annoyingly, I probably can't do anything about Algeria right now. I need to space boost Asia. Perhaps boost Asia some more. Oh, come on. Really? some threat here. And so far this game has been going quite poorly. Unlike the game I've played just recently, when the dice seem to really hate my opponent. Well, this time, Thailand and Iran strongly suggest otherwise. Ok, 
Okay, let's see if he's scared into doing anything about Algeria, like going for a coup in the Saharan states, which would be a bit useful. Hmm. Nuisance. Well, this Dutch worked. Okay, two more moves. That will happen. Shit, <laughs> okay. I am so lost in this game. Okay, let's at least focus on Asia. Hmm, good thing that at least Middle East is gone, but... Damn! Oh, maybe I should have held a war. Ah, oh, clever. Yeah. Damn it. Should have went for North Korea immediately. Okay, I guess I'll hold the China card and hope for the best. Nine victory points behind, dominated in Asia. Okay, at least that's somewhat useful. And uh, Muslim Revolution, non gunmen, social governments, Korean War. <laughs> ah, that's plenty. Plenty of bad stuff just waiting to happen. Asia plus OPEC and it's game over. <laughs> I'll be rather swift. And I don't even hold domination of Europe anymore. Hmm. Okay, well, CIA is still around, so perhaps that would bait me out. Oh, and there's South America. Hmm. If I get a high card, I go for Argentina. If low, Nigeria. Brush war will be either for Algeria or Venezuela. Hey, free Muslim revolution! Why am I, why am I worried about that card? <laughs> Gotta make your own good news, I guess. Oh, no, 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 no. But okay, I'll be able to break the nation. But come on, this one? Hmm. Cost me three victory points. That will shorten in his hand. I guess I have to. Uh, US Japan is in the discards, and I might be playing.
might be playing Korean War this turn. So perhaps I'll do it like this. It's too very risky. Okay. Okay, if he has South America scoring, then I'm lost. And that's it. I have no means of fighting it after all. Interesting. Maybe he doesn't have it after all. <clears throat> okay. I get to live to die another day. I think I would like to take this opportunity to look at Algeria a bit closer. Since Brafor can wait, but could rely my position against Algeria? Might not. Good. Very good, and yeah, let's try to get lucky here. Ah, should have went for Zaire. Okay. Really? That smells like a CIA. Okay. Let's re-establish the domination of Europe and get rid of math information while it's free. Now it's time to brush it. Oh, actually it depends on his space uh, role. If he succeeds, well, might as well, obviously. He fails. So now it's my turn. I might play that. Hard to say really. I'm definitely not playing that. <clears throat> didn't work. Okay, but that, now I just need to survive in South America. Oh, that's annoying, really. Okay. <laughs> that's like fourth fix in a row? One, two, three. Okay, 
now my position is playable. Might as well get rid of Mr. Allende. Uh, Allende? Something like that. Mm, what about French events? Swiss. Still around? No, it's not. Hmm. ABM could be problematic. Yeah, let's secure France a little better. Or... Nah, let's risk it. Damn it! <laughs> okay. Too optimistic, perhaps. Still, had that worked... That would have been rather nice. Mm -hmm. And for the final move, damn, he had some poor ops. CIA, Sadat, Panama. Huh. Disturbingly so. Okay, my final move will be obviously breaking of Brazil. Hmm, hopefully not Africa. No, can't be Africa this card. Oh, clever fella. Okay. Damn it! Come on! All these rolls. Uh, very well done. That's actually. Not as obvious as it seems, since Juntas does seem to be the obvious headline, but that can cover, given the current score, is somewhat tempting. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll go with it. It's just to be <coughs> a little better protected against a sudden well, loss of entire South America. Colonials would be a nice AR-7. But I have just a little too many problem cards here. Mm, I can space Quagmire or Che, but not both, which means I would have to space Quagmire, obviously. Suffer Che Guevara and. Oh, waste Hunter, to be honest. And again, if I suggest to him 
That might be a good move to cook Colombia. Perhaps he would be willing to give it a try. Hmm, there's that. That's true. Come on, Colombia. Damn it. Okay, now it's somewhat problematic. Five points. That will end the game. <coughs> and that means I need to be faster. I need to spend the China car. Oh yeah. That works too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a steamroll for you. Couldn't be helped, I guess. So, rats to my opponent and well, even more rating to catch up to.